it's in a protective effect, energy dampening, a sponge sucking up effect that vitamin E gives you is super important for the brain. In fact, next to the heart and the blood, the brain and the nervous system are arguably the most important place where vitamin E, both the tocopherols and the tocotrienols, where they really shine when it comes to health benefits. Both the toco, uh, tocopherols and tocotrienols. That means if you have Alzheimer's disease, think vitamin E. And there's so much baloney out there, crapola, nonsense about Alzheimer's disease. And we got a big, big problem. According to the World Health Organization, we're talking about tripling it by the year 2050. In 30 years, 35 years, we're going to be tripling Alzheimer's disease. This, that's craziness. And it's already, in this country, the sixth leading cause of death. And like all chronic degenerative diseases, it's unnecessary and, by the way, reversible. Yes. I, I mean, I, logic tells you it's reversible, but I just read... Hopefully I could find this thing here. I wanted to read it to you guys. Uh, even, even in the laboratory, they're showing that it's reversible. You don't need the laboratory. You don't need statistics, and you don't need numbers, and you don't need scientists, and you don't need uh, doctors and, and articles and journals to tell you that this thing is reversible because it's a degenerative disease, and all degenerative disease is reversible. I have a whole stack of these articles here that I've been collecting on, on Alzheimer's disease. Memory loss associated with Alzheimer's reversed. Yes, reversed. This is from uh, UCLA, the Mary Easton Center for Alzheimer's Disease. There's something very interesting about Alzheimer's disease you never hear about, but it's a real major, major clue to what's happening. There's so much interest in Alzheimer's disease, too. I got, a, I got an email today from uh, some guy in New York, a doctor in New York, is one of these, they call it content marketing, where you get the where you get an email about diabetes or about arthritis or about autoimmune disease, and it's some lady talking on a video. I always listen to these things, so I want to hear what they're saying. So this guy cracks me up. His name is Dr. I don't even want to tell you what his name is. But anyway, he says, the real cause for Alzheimer's disease has now been revealed. This is the real cause, right? Now, this, I should tell you that the standard uh, model, the, the uh, conventional wisdom, is that there's this thing called amyloid plaques, which is basically like the plaque on your teeth. You know how you brush your teeth because plaque forms on top of your teeth? Well, the same stuff comes up in your brain. It's a cellular byproduct. Bacterial cells make it in your mouth, and our cells make it. It's called plaque. It's a type of protein, and it's sticky, and they notice that people with Alzheimer's disease have these plaques. So the, the conventional wisdom is that it's plaques. Now, this guy, he's a genius. He says, oh, no, we now know the real cause. It's not plaques at all. It's something called tau protein. Yes, it's not amyloid plaques. It's tau protein. More stupidity. He says, oh, well, we know that there's tau protein present in people who, in the brains of people who have Alzheimer's disease. So it's not the amyloid plaque. It's the tau protein. Of course, he has a supplement for getting rid of tau protein. That's the, that's the upshot. Well, it's just more nonsense. When cells are under stress, the proteins get messed up, and it doesn't matter if they're tau or they're amyloid or whatever. Alzheimer's disease is nothing more than arthritis of the brain. It's nothing more than fibrosis of the brain. It's endometriosis of the brain. It's the same thing that affects every system when we have a chronic long-term degenerative disease, which is good news. It's awesome news because it means that we can reverse this thing easily. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central and 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Both, both uh, pages have search engines that you can search topics or programs if you want to review or if you miss a program. That's uh, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can do that off brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, so our number today on the phone, 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge you want help with, if you have a uh, success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation. Speaking of success stories, I got a call this morning from Richard in Delaware. And uh, 
he started talking to me. We, we talked a little bit. I talked to Richard a few months ago. I gave him some ideas, and he called me this morning, and uh, he just had the success story. And I told Richard, listen, I need you to go, come on the air with me, and I don't even want to hear it. I want you to tell everybody what you're telling me because this is so important, you guys. I've been talking about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Longevity products now since 1997. And I can't tell you the hundreds, if not thousands of people who have improved their lives, turned their health challenges around simply by using the longevity supplements. I'm not saying that's all you need. There's, there's other things. But just that alone, just the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can make a huge, huge difference. Anyway, Richard called me this morning and said, Richard, call me at 844-236-6010. I want to get you on the air. I want you to tell everybody what you told me. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. So uh, you called me this morning, and I said, hold on. I don't want to hear any more. I want you to tell everybody what you're telling me. So, so tell our listeners uh, what you told me this morning. Well, why don't you introduce, the, introduce yourself and tell, tell them the problem and then what happened with the tiny pantry. Sure enough, I'm a woman in Delaware. Uh, I had gone to the, uh, my medical practitioner very rarely. But uh, when I went there, I went because I was having a problem with uh, with urinary tract, um, and only to find out my blood pressure was 100 over 90 something. Okay, I had some incidents after that, so I had to go to the hospital to get the blood pressure. But they I came hey, out. Hey, Richard, oh, Richard, Richard, hey. Richard, Richard, you're cutting out, bro. You got to call me yep. back. I, this is too important. You got to call me back. Right. Okay, call me right back. All right. Can you hear? I, you're cutting out, brother, and, and this is way too important. So I'm going to put you. I'm going to drop you. I want you yeah. to call back. I'll get you right up. That was. I'm sorry that happened because uh, Richard has an awesome story. Hopefully he'll. Uh, hopefully he'll call back. Paul in California, what's up? Oh my goodness, Paul. I'm going to put Paul back on hold because I don't know what the heck's going on with Paul. Juanita in California. Uh, Paul's right here. Oh, Paul, what's up? How you doing, Paul? Hi. Hi, um, I've been diagnosed with a staghorn uh, kidney stone, and okay. I want to do surgery, and so I'm looking for any help you can give me. Well, here's the deal. I don't know. Kidney stone, I don't need to tell you uh, about the misery of a kidney stone. It may be that you need surgery. Now, once the stone is there, a stone is a block in the very, very, very microscopically small tubes of the kidney. So it's a, uh, it, and a staghorn, by the way, is when it's like a horn. So that right. is, that ain't comfortable. So you may need. Well, I, I'm in no pain from it. Is what's weird, you know. Well, then that's and, good. Then that's very good. You're very <laughs> fortunate. You're very fortunate. Start drinking a ton of water. That's the first thing you okay. want to do to try to dilute that that kidney stone. But more importantly, why is the body accumulating calcium? That's what you want uh -huh. to know. The, uh, okay. Why is the why why are cells secreting calcium? Why is calcium floating around in the blood? Well, what that means is that cells are dying somewhere. Cells are majorly uh -huh. burdened somewhere. Nobody just has a kidney stone. It's a sign of cell death and cell dysfunction. So you got other problems. Mostly it involves toxicity, i.e. sugar. Sugar is a sugar major toxin. Death. What's that? I eat way too much sugar. Well, you're probably pre-diabetic or maybe even diabetic, so you want to start working on your sugar metabolism. If you can, okay. I mean, it's, I say that, but I, I realize how hard it is. So, and bread is sugar, and, and cereal is sugar, and potatoes are sugar, french fries are sugar, bagels are sugar. You know, all the things we love are sugar, not to mention, of course, desserts and fruit juices and, you know, the right. obvious forms. Well, I, I drink a lot of soda and a lot well, of All of that, so all that, dude. That's all Nepal. that. Paul, the kidney stones are part of the picture. You know, I can't right. tell you take this take this vitamin if you're going to have. I, I'm not beating you up, Paul. I just want you to see the connection. But no, you no, already I see. understand. Okay, good. So get on get on the healthy star pack right away. Start handling your sugar business, and that means okay. more protein. More protein will help you. For God, for people who can't wean yourself off of sugar, more protein is invaluable, and that means whey protein especially, but also egg protein and, and fish protein, quality protein. You want to stay away from antibiotics and hormones if you're doing your meat, quality protein, and also coconut oil can help get you off of sugar too. And then there's an amino acid called glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. Uh, you buy it by the pound. You buy it by the pound and do about a teaspoon a day or even two teaspoons, just maybe a teaspoon a day. 
of the glutamine. That's wonderful for sugar cravings. Um, and then a good nutritional supplement program, especially one that features the B vitamins and chromium and vanadium. That's your sweeties and your beyond tangy tangerine. Make sure you drink right. lots and lots and lots of water and, uh, and then the healthy start pack to get your mighty 90 essential nutrients. Now, I didn't tell you about the digestive component, but it's critical because as long as your digestive system is broken down, it's going to be tougher for you to wean away from sugar. Once the digestive right. system starts to break down, diarrhea and constipation and bloating, I'm sure you have all of these issues they, they, because it's a package deal. You don't process energy correctly, so you feel tired a lot. And that's when we go right, for the sugar. Right. So it's very, Paul, it's generic. It happens to us all. And that's the good news. It means if it happens to us all, that, that means there's constitutive, fundamental, basic mechanisms. It's not something weird from the outside. It's stuff that okay. we're doing. So sugar metabolism, wean yourself off of sugar with more protein and coconut oil. Make sure you're using your sweeties and your Beyond Tangy Tangerine as part of the Healthy Start Pack. If you want to throw some more guys. things, want to do a couple more things, I would work on the digestive system, do a food diary, elimination diet, and the bioluminite essence. And vitamin E can help you, too. We've been talking about vitamin E for sugar, a 400 okay. IU of vitamin E. Paul, I'm going to let you go. I got Richard back. I want, to, I want him to tell his All story. Right. Thanks Thank for your call, you. my man. Okay, take care. Richard, you back? Richard? Yeah, Thanks. I am. Uh... Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, see how okay. continue on. So, so you don't need. Uh, we don't need all the details, but I just want to hear what happened, what uh, what the problem was, what you did, and what the results were. I had a problem with high blood pressure. After they got the blood pressure under control, I was still weak, and I would be dizzy when I was walking. So I had to walk with a cane. Okay, I that's called when you, you. I told you about the problem. You told me to get some tangy tangerine. I got the tiny tangerine. Two or three weeks after I started taking the tiny tangerine, that problem of dizziness went away, and I put the cane away. I'm walking on all two, on two, uh, two feet again, not on three. That's awesome. That's an awesome story, Richard. I, I see this all the time, but I wanted you to tell the listeners. Uh, and, and there's more that you need to do, of course, but the tangy tangerine is so powerful and so dense that just that alone can make a huge difference. Richard, I want you to send me an email, ben, B-E-N, at ksco.com. K for king, Wait. S, uh, ben, B-E-N, at K for king, S for Sam, C for cat, O for Oscar, dot com. And then uh, put your address there, and I'm going to send you out a free Beyond Tangy Tangerine for sharing your story. Could you repeat that first part of the email again? I, sure, I sure. It. My name is Ben, so Ben, B-E-N, ben. ben, like Benjamin, B-E-N, mm -hmm. Ben at ksco.com. Or shoot me a text okay. if you have... Why don't you shoot me a text, Richard? Don't worry, Richard. Shoot me a text, okay? Okay, just, send a just text. Send, on what send me a text, the number you called this morning. Okay, very good. Okay, God bless you, my friend. Thank you for sharing your okay, story. Thank Appreciate you. it. Happy New Year. All right. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. We shall return right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the right side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Oklahoma and welcome Colin to the bright side. Good morning, Colin. Good morning. How's it going? It's going great. How are you doing out there? Where are you in Oklahoma, by the way? Uh, right now I'm in between Tulsa and Oklahoma City, headed to Oklahoma City with my load. Oh, okay. You're a dry truck driver. Do You, you don't yeah. live in Oklahoma or do you? I do. I live in Oklahoma City. I drive to and from Tulsa. Okay. I love Tulsa. Uh, Oklahoma City is nice, too, but I love Tulsa. Cause it's yeah, so darn I, hot. A little bit. I love. Little bit I love going. I love going through there. The, the downtown. The downtown Tulsa area is a little raised up. Kind yeah. of epic looking. <laughs> Best bookstore. There's a really cool bookstore there called Peace of Mind Bookstore. If you ever get a chance to, that's a plug for the Peace of Mind Bookstore in Tulsa. I'm, I'm a fan, except for the weather. Not a fan of the weather. So uh, what's what's cooking? How can we help you today? Okay, uh, my a friend of mine's wife. She, since she has had her baby, has been having crazy psoriasis on her hands and on her feet. Okay. Psoriasis and is... She, go ahead. So she says she's tried almost everything. No, but, no, no. Yeah. I hate when people say that. You can't try everything. I know what they mean, though. It's frustrating. You try this, you try that, you try the other thing, because nobody's addressing the cause. Psoriasis is Alzheimer's disease of the skin. Or maybe let me say it a different way. Alzheimer's disease is psoriasis of the skin. Or psoriasis the brain. Did we? Uh, did you listen to the beginning of the program, Colin? I did. I did. Okay. Okay. So I was talking about how Alzheimer's disease is fibroids and plaques. This is one of the ways cells respond to stress: is they'll secrete fibers, and these fibers will appear to the naked eye as what they call plaques, which is like this raised, bumpy stuff 
basically it's just fibers and skin cells and and, and residual uh, the residual secretions of, of broken down dead cells and psoriasis it's caused by inflammation as in anywhere else and that means there's something that's messing up the the immune system the defense system there's two major components here number one is food and number two is nutritional deficiencies